let's clean up with all these myths and misconceptions and common cliches of entrepreneurship. It is most of the time not as exciting as we think. If you still believe in them, forget them immediately and after having watched this video, you will know what they are. Hey, my name is Armin L. Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and I'd like to help you to become a great leader. In my leadership, management, and coaching experience over the last 25 years, I've summed up quite a bit of experience as a top manager in great corporates and also as a leader of startups, and I'd like to share this experience with you. This video is about the common misconceptions of entrepreneurship. I will actually share three with you. If you don't want to miss any of my content, don't forget to click on the red button underneath this video and switch on the bell too, so that you won't miss any content in the future. Now, let's dive into it. Entrepreneurship, the great, ooh, I'm an entrepreneur, you're an entrepreneur, he must be really fancy, and it's all very exciting. You know what? There are a lot of misconceptions about it and I'd like to share these with you. Now, the first one is that it is always exciting and fun. You know what, entrepreneurship, excitement and fun, oof, maybe in a, few, in a few moments when you have achieved something, when you've probably got to, um, uh, when you've closed a, a, a growth round, when you've uh, closed a big deal, when you have hired great people and the team is working well. But uh, let me tell you, it's not about, you know, always being excitement and fun. Life is not excitement and fun all the time. We also have these true moments of happiness. Not, not all the time, I would say. And uh, entrepreneurship is the same. Look at sports, you know. What percentage of the time are you training? And what percentage of the time are you actually winning or scoring a goal or, or, or doing a dunking or whatever? Uh, it is actually the minority of the time that you have that. So forget this excitement and fun stuff and this passion stuff that they're talking about. Just do something great, be convinced about it and and, uh, and, and and do it and then the fun moments will come. Let me give you my example. You know, I'm running this YouTube channel and it is fun. Of course it is exciting. But, you know, it is not always, you know, great fun, you know, to get up in the morning and to write the scripts and to say, oh my God, uh, what could be another interesting topic for my entrepreneurs? You know, I'm answering obviously a lot of stuff that you are asking me, so I know that you're interested. But on the other hand, you know, it is just not always fun. Most of the time it is just hard work and I'd rather stay in bed or go for a beer or go meet up with friends or I don't know, go for a jog. You know, I'll do all these things, but you know what I mean, you know, it is not always exciting and always fun. So go into, uh, take your entrepreneurship role with a very realistic point of view. And now that you have already grown, you will have made your experiences and certainly do not expect that it is going to change. The hard work will stay. It's extremely hard work. The rewards will come if you, if you avoid the common mistakes and if you do the right things. But as I said, don't expect it to be fun and excitement all the time because life isn't either. Second thing is you, second misconception of many entrepreneurs who actually start up is you will always become rich. Well, that is one of the biggest misconceptions. Um, you might know that most of the startups uh, that are being built fail. Um, many of them do not survive for more than three or five years. So um, as a consequence, m most of the entrepreneurs will not get rich. But here we go. It's not about getting rich. At least it's not about getting rich as the first, how can I say, trigger of your, of your entrepreneurial activities. It is about doing something great. That is the thing. Changing the world, improving something, solving a problem for other people. You know, that is what gives you satisfaction. I'm personally very, very satisfied that I can share all this experience that I've made with you. You might like it, you might not like it, but I can share it with you, people who like it and who say, who say to me, hey Armin, thank you very much for that. I have learned so much and I can now do it better. My clients, for example, that I work with in the entrepreneurial world, who can now apply my management tools, that makes me happy. And that is completely independent from the money earner. 
completely. So, first thing, you might not necessarily become rich. Secondly, it, there is, it is more important to do something that satisfies you completely. And guess what? If you do that, and if you're really making a difference, becoming rich is not so difficult anymore. So it might be even an automatic consequence. And the third biggest misconception, the, the, the third of the biggest misconceptions that I've come across and that I would like to warn you from is that the market is huge and the company will grow really fast. Now oftentimes business takes much much longer to get off the ground and then you know as I said in another video uh, then for, uh, you, you find out that the dynamics in the market are against you that uh, a partner has pulled the plug or whatever so it never goes fast enough and that also means um, that you will have to have this persistence and that this resilience to 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 you know to stay on the case and not to give up it actually always always takes longer than you expect so you have to keep your flexibility you have to be alert to changes and always listen to the market the customer ask them you know as I always say now uh, Take into account that once you start your business, even now, when you're going to the next step, you know that I'm basically working with late stage entrepreneurs who are some, somewhere from, let's, let's, let's say, Series C um, level financing uh, to the next steps. And um, even if you are there, don't expect all of a sudden to, uh, everything to go faster. It is an uphill struggle and you better get used to it. Now, as a conclusion, three misconceptions about uh, entrepreneurship that I'd like you to put into the bin. The first one is it's always exciting and fun. It's not. There is fun, there is excitement, but most of the time it's just hard work, discipline, persistence, etc. etc. Second mistake, you will always become rich. Also not a rule because most um, uh, startups fail and if you do something that is great and makes a difference normally you will become rich anyway almost as a side effect and number three the market is huge and the growth will be fast that is also a misconception that I'd like you to well chuck away so to speak and uh, based on that you will have a much easier life because you're looking at it in a more realistic way the life program actually teaches you to get this realistic point of view within weeks. Now, if you don't want to miss any of that content and learn more about it, just click on the subscribe button below and put the bell so that you're always informed. And please, if you like this, give us a like and share this video so that many, many more entrepreneurs can benefit from this content. Thank you very much. That was Armin L. Rao from A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. And don't forget, Lead yourself.